Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and I'm back again to do another Reading 101 video. This is a series of videos where we take a transcription, ideally of something you've never heard before, and we learn to play it without having to listen to the recording. This is a very important skill to develop because it's helping you focus on and work on your ability to interpret, read and understand rhythms. Because the notes on the page, they're there for you, especially if you're a tab reader. But if you can't read rhythm, then you have that crutch. You rely on having to listen to something and copy it. We don't really want to be doing that all the time. We would like to ideally be working on things uh, from our, you know, our intellectual understanding of a recording or of sheet music. So if I bring this up, this is a jazz blues that I recently just transcribed on my YouTube channel, probably went up yesterday. Uh, now I'm going to learn it and I'm going to learn it without listening to the recording. So relatively simple. This is a relatively simple thing to look at. In fact, if I, you know what, I've never done it like this before, but let's try this. Let's put it in horizontal scrolling mode like that. Now I can get right in and see everything at all times. Great. So yeah, if we just look at this first bar, I can understand this, I can process this. There is a chord on beat one, there's a chord on the end of beat two, there's nothing on beat three, and there is a chord on the end of beat four. So one, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and. This is hard <laughs> to. Bat, 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 two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's that bar, I'm just dealing in that bar. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. And one, two, three Four. Now when I look at the second bar, we can see that there is nothing in the first two beats, and then in beat three, we play three and three and four, uh, three and four. So one, two, three and four. 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 Now if I put those two bars together, we would have three, four, one, two and three. Four and one, two, one, two, three, and sorry, it's on three. I was processing there. Let's try again. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Easy. Now we play the same rhythm here. One, two, and three, four, and. But the chord has changed a little bit. We have a B flat seven. But then we move up to an F minor. So one, two, and three, four, and. That's an F minor chord. Uh, moving into the next bar, we have nothing on beat one, and then on the and of two, we come in and play a B flat seven chord. And this ties across into beat three. Nothing on the start of beat four with a chord on the end of beat four. So if I just look at that bar, we'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. Let's highlight this and try and play this. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now the entire part. Three, four, one, two, let's get the chord right. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Hesitated there, let's try that again. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two. So, not the easiest, but also not the hardest, I think. So, same basic principle here. If I look at this rhythmically, well, we've played this bar before. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. This bar. We can see that we've got a chord on beat one and then a chord on the end of beat two ties across into beat three, nothing on beat four. So we should be able to play this. Three, four, one, two, three, and four. 
one, let's get the right chord, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Not too tricky. Moving into the next two bars, a little bit trickier, a little bit trickier. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, and two. Yeah, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, and just play the right chords. Three, four, one, and two, three, four. I mean, this is this is hard. <laughs> one and two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and that's where those chords would fall. And then finally, I take this super slow. You know what? I'm going to leave that on screen just for a second. I want you to try and process this. Can you see? Is there anything new in here? Rhythm, rhythm, uh, rhythm wise, we've covered all of these chords, uh, all of these rhythms. Shouldn't be anything too shocking. If I count in one, two, a oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So, this is why I don't usually do that. <laughs> if I go, not horizontal, grid, there we go. If I go grid, I should just be able to bring up that entire part of the transcription, right? I should now be able to read just this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two. A little bit faster. One, I won't count this time, I'm just going to read. So one, two, three, four. Now when I move on and I look at the solo, shouldn't be too tricky, rhythmically even easier. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not tricky at all. Bit of uh, syncopation here. I'm going to ignore this last note, but I'm highlighting the whole bar just so you can see it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. If I look at both of those bars, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Not the hardest thing. Now, if I look at this bar, this is where things become trickier, not in terms of uh, playing it, but just in terms of highlighting it, because really we want like this, that's what I'm going to loop, but kind of this, but let's just highlight that. So it starts on the and of beat four, one, two, three, four, and one, sliding onto seven on beat one, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four. And then we play that nine, ninth fret on the uh, high E string on the last eighth note of beat four. One, two, three, four, and one. So if I just play this first line, you can spend a lot of time working on something like this. Let me zoom in on it so you can really see it. Spend a lot of time working on something like this and it's really about processing that rhythm. Don't commit it to memory, we're reading it. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and. Not too tricky. Now when I look at the next part, I mean, not so scary, right? If I uh, beam these correctly, like that. I mean, it's scary if you look at the accidentals, but if we just look at the notes, six, seven, seven, six, nine, eight, 
six, sliding down to five. We start on the second eighth note of the bar. So one and two and three and four and sliding down to the fifth fret. Okay, well, what do we have here? sixteenth note. So I'm just sort of cramming these notes in. Uh, as I said in the transcription video, it's kind of like a Charlie, Charlie Parker rhythm when you go. very Charlie Parker and then in the uh, final bar on that line it's just straight eighth notes so rhythmically not too crazy here it's just about getting that in the right place right but if I count it one two three four one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and not too crazy and now tricky line right or not Classic mixolydian. One and two and three, four. Sorry, one and two and three and. Now we've got a G minor seven where I go one, two and three and four and. This starts on the and of beat two. One, two and three and four and. isn't I mean, it's tricky fingering wise but it's all just eighth notes all of this is just eighth notes so rhythmically none of this is a challenge da 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 just placing that in the right place one two and three and four and one and 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 two three and four and one so that's all reading it's not committed to memory. I'm, I'm genuinely, you know, worrying about the uh, where the notes are because the rhythm is taken care of. So again, if I let me see if I can do this. If I go vertical, oh no, there's a page break between them. That's a pain. Yeah, I can just about get it on screen so you can read it. So if I highlight the entire thing, we would have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, four and one and two. And three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. <laughs> it's really hard for me to count that. One, and two, and three, and four, one, two, and one, and two, a cool little phrase. If I try and read that a bit faster, I won't uh, count it as I'm doing it because as you can tell that's quite stressful. It's one more thing I have to think about, but if I yeah if I just read one, two, three, four. <laughs> A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. That's a lot faster. That actually works. <laughs> if I try and play the entire thing, much harder to do that because I need to get all of it on the page. Uh, how can I do that? We go grid. I'll zoom in as much as I can. Yeah, I shouldn't lose any detail there. Uh, I can get rid of that. That will help. Why is there no middle ground? Why can I not go between those two zoom points? That'll do. 
Um, cool. So I should be able to count this in and play the entire piece now. Uh, I'll do it slow and then fast and you know your goal when I'm doing something like this should be to follow along and you should never be surprised by anything that I'm playing. Nothing that I'm playing is um, you know not on the page. Nothing should be a surprise. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. tricky and let's just try and take it to silly speed see if I can break myself one two a one two three four So there you go, there you have it guys. Now if you want that transcription, of course, it will be available to my transcription challenge tier over on Patreon, so if you want it, yeah, you have to go over there and get that. On the note of Patreon, these are some of my supporters over on Patreon. Uh, the Patreon transcription challenge tier is the $5 tier, so those guys aren't listed here, but of course, all of these guys listed also get that stuff, because, you know, the more you support me, the more you get. Um, and if you don't support me at all, that's also fine. You'll still keep getting lots of YouTube videos from me. So thank you very much, guys, for your support. And uh, thank you for helping those people out that can't afford to support me but still need good quality content. So if you would like to check me out on Patreon, you can do so by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe by clicking this button down here. And you'll find two more of my videos here and here. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. Hit me up in that comment section below. And I will see you for another video soon. Laters.